Here we go. Tip it in. Scared. Scared. Accelerate. Scared. Not worth the risk. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Traction Channel for another brand new video. Now this year, for the first time in three years, saw the return of the Isle of Man TT, which is one of the most famous road racing events for motorbikes in the world. Now Covid stopped the event happening in 2020 and in 2021, but it was finally back. I watched all of the coverage on ITV and it was absolutely phenomenal and it really made me want to jump back on the Isle of Man TT right on the edge to game. Now for those of you who've been following the Traction channel for a long time now, you may remember I actually did a video when the Isle of Man TT was supposed to happen back in 2021 and I basically took on the circuit for the first ever time. I fell off about 30 times <laughs> from my bike and ended up doing a lap time that was about 20 minutes or 21 minutes. I was about five or four or five minutes off of the pace um, but I just wanted to showcase the circuit itself and how difficult it was. But as I say, because I watched the coverage this year, I really wanted to learn the track so I jumped back on the game, gave it a good go and actually after four or five laps despite the circuit being 38 miles long I did begin to manage to kind of remember where the corners were going and actually I discovered just how good a game this is. Now to celebrate the fact that this event is finally back up and running I thought I would return to the game and try and set a much better lap time this time because I actually kind of know the circuit having learnt it this weekend as I was saying and I'm actually going to go and try and beat Peter Hickman's lap record from the TT. Basically I want to try and recover the reputation of traction when it comes to bike games, or me specifically actually, because every video I've done on a bike game I've fallen off 30 or 40 times and been pretty terrible, so I actually want to try and do this justice. I'm going to do one lap to try and beat the record. I will give myself three attempts, so if it goes wrong I'll be able to restart twice. I'm going to do it in the evening because I think it'll look pretty, we've got clear weather, we're going to start near the front and we've got our opponent set to hard, although that shouldn't really matter. Hopefully I can get out in front and stay there and just try and beat Peter Hickman's record, although it will be from a standing start as well. I'm going to ride as Davy Todd on the BMW S1000RR as well because Davy Todd was incredibly quick all throughout practice week but didn't quite get the results he deserved when it came to the actual event and he almost managed to get a podium in the final senior event as well. So uh, I'm going to try and redeem Davy Todd because he deserves it, so we're going to try and take the record as him. Just quickly to show you the assists and stuff I'm running, I am using some assists because I think it's going to be very difficult. I haven't actually tried with no assists yet because I actually wanted to learn the circuit and not learn how to fall off over and over again. So I am running with low ABS, traction control, stuff like that. Um, but I've got no racing line on, combined brakes to keep it a little bit more simple with the controller, and I'm also running manual gears. So yeah, it's still tough. You need to be careful over the bumps. You need to lift off at a certain point, lean a certain way. It's very important to get that stuff right and balance the bike. Um, but at least it gives me a tiny bit of a helping hand. So I'm not just going to fall off all the time. Okay then. Here we go, about to get the tap on the shoulder, and we are underway. Now as I'm saying, I'm going to give myself two restarts if need be, so three attempts to do this. Hopefully I can get warmed up in the first one. I might even manage to get the record in the first one if I nail it, who knows. But I'm going to be a little bit rusty, I think. Heading into Bray Hill, I'm going to tip it to the right, almost flat out through there, tiny bit of a lift, and watch out for Ago's leap. Very easy to end up on your face through there. We're going to have a quick dab of the brakes just to be safe oh you can see even with the assists on it's so easy to get that front wheel up in the air it makes all the difference around Isle of Man though when you actually know the circuit because you can kind of anticipate what's coming you know when you're coming up to the really slow corners for example nice and controlled through Braddon Bridge now watch the bumps through here it's going to be a little bit of a lift just to be safe gets close to that wall as possible a little lift again we're going to take it a little easy because we've got a fast section through here but you need to get the change of direction and the weight transfer, that's the most important thing. Ho -ho. Close to the wall already. Look at those incredibly cheap fuel prices on the left there. Now, it's a bit of a kink here and we're coming up now to Balascari. Now this is probably possible flat, I'm going to lift just to be safe, especially in this first lap, first attempt. Nice and tidy through there. Watch the bump on the exit again, watch another bump. Absolutely flat out down the hill, 195 miles an hour. We've got a left kink at Glenvine, I'm going to take this flat. Plenty of grip at this speed. The engine is screaming in pain at this point. Oof, I had to lift over the bump. It's just a case of not falling off really because you lose quite a bit of time when you do fall. You've got to be committed throughout the lap to try and keep the pace up, but at the end of the day, falling is going to lose you a lot more than a tiny bit of patience. 
It's the first time this year where I've really sat down and watched every single race that's happened over the course of the week. And obviously, as often it is the case with Isle of Man, it's been a tragic week as well. You know, we've seen five deaths in the event. But everyone who takes part in the Isle of Man knows the risks. And I've had my first crash of the lap. I'm going to keep going, though, because I'm only going to lose about five seconds with that. But yeah, it, it's, it's awful just how many lives are actually lost in the Isle of Man TT. And it, a lot of people question why the event actually takes place, given the situation. But at the end of the day, all the riders that take part know the risks. Their families know the risks. And it's just, it makes up part of their life. You know, it's such an important thing for them. Just taking it nice and easy through here. Difficult to commentate and concentrate on the Isle of Man, funnily enough. Through Glen Helen. Get through the gears. Oh, there you see it. Just tipping to the right. Caught the bump in the wrong way. And we're straight off the bike. Through Molyneux. Oh, that was very close. Oh, very close to the curb. Watch the bumps. I had to get the weight straight back over to the right to be careful. Lost a bit of time, though. And again, another fast left. I'm tensing up, even with a controller. Nope, nope. Oof. Oh no. Oh, and that's what happens when you get on a curb. My bike's stuck in a wall. Spectators didn't seem to mind. That's the third crash I think now we've had in this lap, so it's not gonna be not gonna be great for our record chasing. I need to be silky smooth for the rest of the lap now. Bits of bit of a lift through Dub Cottage just to be safe. Downshift and Alp Oh, another bump and another shunt. Down the Selby Strait. Look at the speed of the trees going past as well. Like it actually gets a bit hypnotic when you look at it too much. I need to focus on my apexes. Oh, too much. Too much focus on the apex. I ended up in the apex. Do you know what? I said I'd give myself two restarts. Instead of going all the way to the end of the lap, I think I'm going to just reset, give it another go, attempt number two, and see how we get on. If you are going to beat this record, you need to fall, you know, no more than three or four times, probably across the whole lap, and I'd already fallen about four or five times on the first lap, on the first half of the lap, so it just wasn't going to cut it. We go again. It's difficult even taking this first section flat, just with all these bumps. It's so easy to fall. A little bit of a lift through Bray Hill, over Agos Leap. Front lifts. I feel a little bit more warmed up now, though. I... We'll, we'll not count that one. This is attempt two. Definitely attempt two. I really feel like I haven't given bike games justice on this channel because every time I jump on them, I'm just really bad. And it's because I don't really, you know, put the time in beforehand to get up to speed and kind of get used to things. And I jump in and expect to be okay, and I'm just not very good. So uh, it's not fair on the games, to be honest. This game, specifically, is actually phenomenal. Like, now that I've gotten used to it, it feels fantastic. It gives you the real sensation of, you know, jeopardy and speed and the reward when you get it right, when you nail your apex, the weight transfer. It, you feel it all through a controller. And it's, it is just a phenomenal piece of work, to be honest. But if you're falling off all the time, you don't really get to experience that. You don't get to enjoy it. But now that I actually feel like I know the circuit a bit, I can enjoy the nuances and really appreciate them, and this game deserves so much more credit than I gave it last time. And I gave it a lot of credit for how good the track representation was, but it, it is just a really, really good gaming experience. I might speak a bit less in this one, because I really feel like I need to concentrate so hard to keep it clean around here. I'll do my speaking before we get to Balaskiri for this second run. Here we go. Tip it in. Scared. Scared. Accelerate. Scared. Not worth the risk. Should have lifted. 
Ah, uh, see, you lose so much time if you fall at 195 miles an hour. You just lose all the momentum, you've got to build it all up again. And that, that was a straight, it was just a bump. It was just a bump, and I, I knew it was coming as well, but I didn't lift, because I'm going for a record, and it's stupid, because you can't break a record if you fall off all the time. But you can break a record by being just a little bit safe, and pushing where you're safe to push. And that was just unnecessary. Okay, through there. Neat and tidy. Much better through Gorsley on this lap than the first attempt. Lifted for that bump. A little bit late on the brakes into Balacrane. Oh, okay, actually, I had a bit of room left. I, I turned in really early just to make sure I got in. And it, I got in and some. So it, there's a lot of time to be gained through there. For sure. Watch the weight transfer on the bumps here. Valley Bridge. Doran's Bend. Nice. This is a really tight and twisty section. You've got to watch out for the walls. Fast right becomes a tight right and then a tight left. And then another tight right at the end here. Miss the apex. But not the end of the world. You can afford to miss some apexes. time being given away through here but it's a dangerous part of the road. Get very close to that stone wall. Glen Helen again off camber uphill. <sighs> Nerve wracking. And then Sarah's Cottage. Similar kind of vibe. Get the weight transfer over because you've got a couple of sweepers here left and right. Oh, dab of the brakes. Watch the bumps in the exit. Have to lift there. Another direction change. And then a very fast section. That's where I fell off the first time. Lift. Molyneux. I'm going to lift from Molyneux just to be safe. Uh, uh, still scary. Still lifting the front. Gonna downshift to fifth for Milestone. Ooh. Sketchy. The whole thing's sketchy, let's be honest. Imagine doing these speeds in real life. Like that's the thing. This course is perfectly represented in terms of the you know the track itself is exactly as you would see it in real life. Uh, you know, and the, the the riders in real life are doing these times. Like Peter Hickman actually did a 1642. It ain't no video game. It's reality, and it's it's remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. Oh curb! Oh my goodness, that was close. I'm just so, so happy that I've actually given this this circuit specifically the time of day, because now I feel like if I go and play any racing game, you know, even a set of Corsa with mods and stuff, if I go and drive the Isle of Man circuit, I now know where I'm going to be going, which is a blessing, because, you know, it's such an incredible course, but only when you really know it. Careful. Okay, 23.82 miles left. We're well ahead of the AI. Or, well, I say well ahead, seven seconds ahead of the closest AI, but that is not important. Back to Kirk Michael. Careful, watch the curbs. Bit of a lift again, weight transfer over, and then flat through here. Gonna be just that bit cautious again. Probably doable flat. the bump on the exit here, massive ju jump, Ooh. wasn't straight for it but got away with it. Very close to the curb, survived. Sorry for all the strange noises, as usual. You can see why I'm wincing a little bit. 
given the state of this. Oof. My hand is already numb from gripping the controller hard over the bridge. Nice and tidy. So satisfying when you get that power down and get that weight over the side. Oh, here we go. It's Balakrai. Nerves, 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 nerves. Get straightened up for the jump. I had to pull back on the trigger as well just to make sure the bike stayed balanced. Into quarry bends, I believe. Bit of a wobble. Can't believe we've only had one fall on this lap so far. I've probably just jinxed it. And it was on a straight on a bump as well. That's just so infuriating. Could have been on a, on a good one. It's still a decent one, I think, though, because you do only lose, as I say, like six or seven seconds. Something like that when it's a high speed one. Down Selby straight. This is where I clip the hedge. It's like a slightly wider line, and then break over the bridge. Short shift to third, because we do not want to do a wheelie out of the corner. Short shift to fourth again, and then we're kind of a beautiful uphill left-hander at Ginger Hall. Just watch. Ah, I was shifting my weight to the right. It is a tricky bump, and it's just all about the timing. And I got it wrong, that one. That's a shame. That's two falls now, though. It's going to need to be a very good run from here to the end. Lifted there. Lifted again. Oh. Down to fourth. Loads of time to be gained here if you're brave. I just don't quite know the section well enough, I would say, yet. No, bumps. Ooh. That is it's really tricky, really narrow, lots of changes of direction, no room for error whatsoever. No, 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 no. Just about recovered it. I actually lost the front there, I think, a little bit. Almost sent me onto the curb. Big bump into Milne Town. And we're coming up to school corner. This is a really high-speed commitment corner. You can absolutely nail it, but I'm going to take it slightly easy. Still used the outside of the road. Hard on the brakes now into Parliament Square. See, I'm even learning the corner names. Look at me go. That little indicator at the bottom left, though, really helps you learn them. And actually, as I say, really helps you learn the track and memorise bits. And we've got an uphill right here. Oh, tried to carry too much speed there. Got very close to the kerb, but survived. Big wheelie up the hill. Tight left. That's fine. Up towards a very famous corner, Ramsey Hairpin. On the brakes. Oh, I've gone in too hot here. I've gone in too hot. No, no. Just about the slowest corner on the track, other than the right at the end of the lap. And I said it was coming, and I still didn't get slowed down for it. Okay, I need to now focus, because this is where it's easy to make mistakes when you've just fallen, and you're trying to make up time. So let's just stay concentrated here. Because it's a tough section. Nope, too early in the brakes. Oh, no. <laughs> it was close. It's touch and go, guys. We're, we're still on for the record, I think, based on my pace generally when I've done the, the few laps over the weekend, but we need to be spot on. It's worth saying I haven't managed to get the record, by the way, in any attempts or any, you know, while I was learning the circuit, I didn't actually get it. I got reasonably close, which is why I know it's possible and why I'm making this video. Nicely through Gooseneck. I'm going to lift a little bit. Again, that's probably flat out that corner if, if you've got the confidence, but not when we're trying not to bin it. And then we've got Joey's here. Fast right. I've missed the apex. Carry. You can carry way more speed through there. Now we're up onto the mountain. Don't want to be too much more committed through there. And we've got Guthrie's memorial. Up into fourth. Beaut this is where the circuit just comes into its own. It's so nice. Flowing from corner to corner. Mountain mile. Missed the apex again, but it's fine. Kept out the barrier, that's the main thing. 
My hands are killing me. Ten miles to go, guys. Only ten miles. Come on. Didn't lift. I'm going to lift brake a little bit here. Then we're going to change down to fourth. Run a bit wide. It's like a triple apex. And there's another one coming. But I've... No, 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 no. Ah, I tipped out of it. Basically, I came I came in too tight in the middle of the corner. Tried to go to the right to compensate and give myself a wider line for the last apex. And in doing so, I just put myself all out of balance. That's a corner that I've actually been getting really good at. Been really enjoying. So that is a shame. And that's our fourth crash of the lap. Don't think we're going to do it on this attempt. We might need a third and final go. A veranda where Connor Cummins had his massive accident about 12 years ago or so. Had to back out of that one. This is the corner that catches most people out early on. It caught me out, certainly, when I was first learning it. The bungalow comes out of nowhere. 90% commitment through there. That's fine for right now. Halewood's rise. Bit of a lift. I'm going to break for this next bit, though. We've got a right, and then we've got a tighter left. Just leaning on the tyre. Another double left coming up. Fifth gear. Oh, no. No, no, wait. Oof. Now, this is a beautiful corner. Windy corner. Watch a huge bump on the braking zone. I've missed the camber in the apex, but got away with it. If you get that corner hooked up and you just get the line, it is magical. Absolutely magical. I'm not going to be flat through these kinks. I might lift a little bit if I'm feeling a bit scared, which I am. Not going to lie to you. Double downshift into Dukes. Not Duke, sorry. That was earlier. We're eight seconds up in the AI still. Come on. No. No. All wrong. All wrong. Lose so much time in the exits. Okay. Kate's Cottage. I'm going to lift a little bit. Very easy to fall off there. Down the hill. Watch the bumps. There you go. Lean backwards into the bump. Going to break just before the sign. Hello, crowd. Craignabat, not bad though, decent exit. Now we're getting near the end guys, three miles to go. Looking at the time, I don't know, it might be possible, do you know that? It might still be possible. If I don't fall one more time, I'm going to lift through here just because you can definitely fall there. This is my favourite corner on the whole track. Bit of a break, in you go. I'm not even going to look at the speed because I'm concentrating too hard. Brandish corner, oh, I've fallen at my favourite corner, doing 147. Oh, I've cursed it. I've absolutely cursed it. That is a magnificent corner if you don't fall off. That might have been it, guys. That might just have lost us our chance. That's, I think, our fifth fall now. It's going to be close. I really think it is. Another triple apex left. On the brakes. Into signpost. Close to the grass and exit. Got another tight left. Lots of speed can be carried, but not worth the risk. 1606. We're not going to do it, guys. We're not going to do it. I feel like we're going to be 10 to 20 seconds off. This is the slowest corner on the track, I would say. Governor's Bridge. You can do it better than that. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait a minute. We're close. We're close. The finish line is not far away. 31, 32. Remember, it's 1642.778. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. 1642. Yes! 1641. I've done it by a second. No way. That is unbelievable. Oh, I knew it was going to be close. I really did know it was going to be close. 16... 
41.398 with an average speed of 135.784 miles an hour. I don't care if I get beaten by any of the AI. I've done it. I've done the lap record on my second attempt, sort of. You saw me restart after a crash in one corner. Wow. And my hands are so sore after that. Peter Hickman himself has done a 1658.6, so he's not quite on his record pace. But from a standing start, that's not really a surprise. I'm so chuffed. <laughs> I'm honestly so chuffed. I feel like, even though, okay, I could have made it a lot harder, I could have turned off the assists, etc, etc. But I feel like we've given ourselves and the Traction Channel some biking redemption, which is well needed. So naturally, that is going to conclude the video, but thank you so much, as always, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed playing it. And uh, yeah, please let us know down in the comments below if you've given this challenge a go. Have you managed to beat the lap record? I'm sure there's plenty of time. I mean, you saw how many falls I had. There were definitely corners where I missed the apexes, so there's probably a 15-minute something in there. Not for me, though. If you do want to see more racing game content like this, please subscribe to the Traction channel and of course hit the notification bell if you want to catch our latest videos as they are released. Who knows, now that I know the uh, Isle of Man course, I might come back to it on some other games, maybe try and take a car around and see if I can beat that time in a, in a proper car. So that would be interesting to see. But until next time, thank you so much for watching, keep it pinned, and have a great day.